greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostle Paul continues to say that uh, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. So this God is so good that when you trust on him, he doesn't look for any other credential because that is the safest thing we can do for ourselves and that is the best thing that we can ever do for ourselves. Because even if you struggle hard, you can never stand up before God. You cannot stand tall before his standards. But when you trust him, trusting on the person, trusting on the nature, trusting on the goodness, the mercy, the love, the credentials of the Lord, trusting on him, just trusting him. And when you trust on him, he gives himself openly to us. At any point of time, even if it is the last gone moment, just trust on him. Trust on his goodness. The problem is many times we trust what, what, what God gives us. We don't trust in God. Many times we only trust in what we receive rather than trusting in the person of God. Your trust upon the person of God. Your trust upon the person of God is powerful enough to take you through any situation in life. And this trust that you have on him, he says, he gives you hope, he gives you peace, he gives you joy. And these things are not what the world gives. Because out of trust in him, you are getting these things, you are getting those things which he has, he gives his peace, his joy to you. What a great privilege. And this is given to us as long as we trust. Like how Moses, as long as he lifted up the staff, the Israelites won and when it went down, the Israelites lost in the same way. As long as you trust on him, he gives you, he continuously gives you a share of the joy and the peace that he has within his own self. As long as you trust him. And if you are able to trust him for this whole life, he is ready to give his whole joy and peace, life forevermore, every single second of your life. And then he continues to say, so that you will overflow with hope by the power of the blessed Holy Spirit. Our hope is not an earthly hope, something much more than it. We have a beautiful hope of glory that is Christ in us. As written to the Colossians. A hope that Christ belongs to us. Our hope that he appears and he will take us with him. Our hope that we will see him as he, he is and we will become like him. Our hope that we will be resurrected in a glorious body that will have no capacity to sin at all. Will be freed permanently once from all, once for all, from sin, Satan, and self. And we will rejoice in all consummacy as the bride of the Lamb. Oh, what a great privilege. We have this hope by the power of the Blessed Holy Spirit. You just trust on Him, He makes His hope available, His joy available, His peace available by the power of the Holy Spirit. Gracious Heavenly Father, how many a times we forget this easy way of trusting in you, simple way of trusting in you, a spiritual way of trusting in you, and run towards many futile ends. For, forgive us and build us upon you so that we might live in the joy, peace, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus' wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen.